How you doing everyone? Turkey Buzzard here. Hope you're having a good day. Well, I'm out here in the middle of the ocean off the coast of Spectacle Island where I've done a huge Brotherhood of Steel oil rig. Now, I've never done a Brotherhood build before. I've always avoided it because uh, as far as the game goes, I really cannot stand the Brotherhood of Steel. However, that being said, I decided I... You know, it was time I broke down, stopped discriminating, and did a Brotherhood of Steel belt. I started out by building dog meat, his own dog house. Uh, I didn't want him to use the traditional one because I didn't feel it fit in with the theme. I figured since the Brotherhood has the Pridwin and that huge airport that they'd also have other facilities and a huge oil oil rig offshore just seemed like a natural thing to me. Of course they'd be bringing in supplies, barrels and, and steel containers and whatever. I use this crane because it actually has a motor on it and I wanted it, you know, I wanted it to look like they were actually offloading some barrels here. I use several mods for this, of course the Conquest mod in order to set this settlement up. Uh, the G2M mod has some really nice accessories. These tires that go around the edges of the dock, they snap right into position. And, you know, they're just a natural thing. And, of course, uh, with the Port Royal mod, which is uh, part of the Master Plan series, gives you the USS Constitution. Now this comes bare bones. I had to put all this stuff on here. The, the shack I had to build. Which was not easy because, uh, you know, you're not, you, you can't really place items on here. If, if you were going to place items on this ship, you would have to either use uh, a pillar glitch or you would have to have the place anywhere mod. I placed all these cannons in and, you know, put some other stuff. The ship itself, you know, is bare bones. You can't go below decks. I figured the captain would want a model of his ship, so I put a model on the table here. And, of course, they'd be bringing in some barrels and whatever. Now, one of the problems I had with this, because... I'm using Conquest mod and I'm so far from a real settlement I cannot get any of the settlers to do their jobs they are assigned it shows that they're assigned but nobody ever goes to work so I gave up I said you know I'm not gonna let that stop me from finishing this build so I decided to use power armor and armor racks and post some of them around just so that this place doesn't look so bare. Now these steel shipping containers are not the regular ones from the game. They're from the G2M mod which lets you build these piece by piece. Uh, you build the frames and then you put the tops and sides and the bottoms and, and everything on them. So you can make them whatever size you want. I glitched a, a generator into that so that it sounded like he was actually operating it. And of course I had to give him a helipad with a with a vertebird. Because you know they they use the vertebirds all the time. The Brotherhood loves their vertebirds. So naturally, if they had an oil rig out here, they would definitely have a helipad out here. And of course, they'd probably have some vehicles. I just put some machinery there. They're all water pumps and things like that. You know, other just big pieces of machinery. I just figured it would look like they were actually producing something here. This is the 
power room. I had to lower it because, uh, you know, at the normal height, the tops of those generators stick up through the, f the floor into the next level, which I couldn't have, so I lowered the, the floors on that. Upstairs, I put the clinic. And as I said, you know, I can't get people to do their job, so I'm using power armor racks, or armor racks. But I figured, you know, they'd have a small clinic here, and if, if anybody sick needs to stay, that they'd have a spot. And I have two of the water purifiers down in the power room and two up here on the roof. And then going over here to the next platform. Up here we have the cafeteria. Now something I like really liked about this was those uh, steel shipping containers you can actually make walls out of them notice how there's an opening there with a shelf and it just I really like the way that came out and it even has a door a set of doors so that G2M is, is a really nice mod Now, you know, although I say I hate the Brotherhood of Steel, I really love this build. Um, and, you know, it really disappointed me that the settlers don't do their jobs. But, uh, you know, I put bathrooms around. Of course, uh, out on the water, they're not called bathrooms. They're called heads. But uh, I put them all around, you know, so that the settlers all have a place to use the bathroom upstairs here we have the commissary which is not huge but you know it would have a few supplies for for whatever they would need while they're out here stuck offshore Now that newspaper rack, that's a, a piece of unique furniture from Crimson Rider. And of course the refrigerator was from the Better Stores mod. Now this was my favorite part of this build. I just, I totally love a good armory. So I really had a lot of fun building this armory. Of course, they've got uh, monitors there just to show people that uh, the place does have security cameras. And, of course, they'll have, you know, the power armor suits and tons of weapons. Those that wall is all combat shotguns. The mini guns for some reason just glitch through and fall onto the floor, but what are you gonna do? Those are 50 cals up there on that wall. We've got some mods piled up there on the shelves. M16s over here. And of course 10 millimeters. We've got some more uh, Mini guns, which fell on the floor. <laughs> There's a cry later in the uh, case there. Of course, over here is tons of ammo and armor. Some of it uh, was from the do-it-yourself, and some I actually stacked by hand. And of course, all these shelves were all from uh, do-it-yourself. But I really, really had fun with this this armory. I just love, love a good armory. I 
I think it come out really nice. So we'll go over to the next platform. And of course this platform has robotics. And again bathrooms and showers over here. I wanted to put showers here because upstairs over top of robotics is the barracks. And of course this is where they would work on their power armor and whatnot. Repairs and upgrades and whatever. This is where I placed the workbench for the uh, conquest mod yeah just uh, it's disappointing that with the conquest mod I cannot get settlers to do their jobs and using that mod none of your bells even show up uh, when I'm if I'm in my workshop mode here then you cannot find a bell you know, I have uh, several mods that have uh, bells in there to call the settlers. And none of them mods have any bells whatsoever when I'm in this workshop. So that's kind of disappointing. Really love all the bunk beds. You know, there's just a, a great way to get a lot of beds without using a ton of room. And as I said, it did disappoint me because, uh, you know, after after building all this, I really, really wanted to get a ton of people here and get them wandering around doing their jobs and looking busy. And uh, it just didn't work out that way. I also uh, built this area down here. I didn't figure they'd want to be farmers. So I built this area down here. And of course it has a security fence around it and I put deer in there from uh, you know red stags from the better stores mod for food well they all glitch out they all glitch out of there and end up either over on spectacle island or swimming around out in the ocean so you know I mean there's there's just some some problems with this game that just kind of uh, bother me you know how uh, if you lock a door nobody should be able to get in there yet settlers will glitch in and out of a room uh, animals if you build you know I tried to build a zoo one time and all the animals glitched out of their cages so you know those are just problems that they kind of bother me about the game but what are you gonna do you know Of course, this is the commanding officer's uh, quarters. Well, actually, it's his office here. And of course, this is not surprising. This is where I find a lot of the settlers a lot of times. They're just wandering around and you're hanging out and doing absolutely nothing. I have two of these secretary desks. People are assigned to them. They just don't go there. But, you know, I mean, uh, I put everything here. See, now that lady right there is actually one of the secretaries. She should be sitting at one of the desks there. But uh, I don't know why. They just stand here in the middle of the room and do absolutely nothing. But there's no way you can build an oil rig on any of the settlements because none of the settlements are actually on water. So, you know, you're really stuck. If you really want to build something like this, uh, I guess you have to tolerate the problems that come with it. And, of course, this would be the commander's quarters. Now 
nice bathroom in here. And I want to show you something else up here. Because this is missing something that I had originally done earlier in this game. Now earlier on I had built this long airstrip and it was quite a quite a lot of work you know putting in all the supports I got running lights along the entire length of it I had to put in all the lines the airplane the lights you know the whole thing uh, but it started messing with my game so I had to go along and scrap the entire thing which is kind of a shame so I had to finish the build without the airstrip, but it wasn't a big deal. I really liked the way this came out anyways. Um, I did want to mention that the Brotherhood of Steel walls, floors, and rough salt came from the Settlement Objects Expansion Pack. Uh, that's an excellent mod. It has tons of uh, building materials, furniture, decorations, whatever. Also, I used the vault section for the supports they go down a couple levels I couldn't go down all the way because it's extremely deep here and this build was already huge so but anyways that's my uh, build for this week I hope you enjoyed the video if you did please hit that like button I appreciate it also subscribe for more videos I put out new videos every week and if you have any questions comments or suggestions I'd be glad to hear them in the comment section also before I go I wanted to mention that I'm considering starting a let's play series on Metal Gear Solid 5 and I would like to know everybody's opinion on that would you like to see that or would you rather just see the settlement videos but either way, let me know in the comments, and I appreciate you watching, and I will see you again next week.